Okay, I've got this um, budgeting spreadsheet for you. Thank hey you, guys. Hi, Sam. Hi, Susan. How are you? Hi, Sam. Um, I'm Ayala. Ayala. Hi, you. I'm Sam. And you are? Aslan. Aslan, hello. And you must be Farouk. Hiya, Farouk. Hi, guys. Sorry I'm late. There was so much traffic. Yeah, I know. What's up? Yes, I'm Sam. Sam is man's name, no? Um, actually, no. Sam is short for Samantha. That's my real name. Okay, the worst day can be called Samantha instead of Samuel. Mm. Right. I'm um, Sam. Yeah, so um, basically, we've um, Susan just handed me this budget mm -hmm. sheet, and there seems to be a little bit of confusion going on here because on your email to Farouk, you mentioned that you were going to make a payment in full. Okay. Like it appears on here that you're making a payment right. in installments. Yeah, that is correct. Basically, what Apex Investments do is we pay you monthly. So as we as you do the project, as the project goes on, we give you the money monthly. So as we see that you're working on it and everything's going well, we give you exactly what you need. So it would always be fair. We've always done that with all our Hilton hotels, right? In London, Susan? Yeah, that was the same. Is that okay with you guys? Do you guys we have, understand? We have contract. You say you are going to give me 50 million. I expect 50 million, but uh, you say no, now installments. What is this? It, it will be that amount, but it, you'll just get it as you go. So it will be fair in the end, and um, I hope that is okay with you. Do you guys understand? Rook, it's in the contract. Installment is in the contract? It's in the contract. If it's in the contract, then Farouk will do in the Great. contract. Great, thank you, thank okay, you. Okay, everyone, shall we um, move on to the probably the most important part of uh, job roles and who's going to be assigned which department? Mm. Um, I was thinking... Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry, could you just bear with me one minute? No problem. So. Sorry about that, guys. That was just my daughter. That's okay. No, you have a daughter? Yeah, I do. She's seven. Mm. But you have no ring? No, I'm not married. How do you have a daughter when you're not married? Are you a widow? Um, no, I'm not a widow. Um, I was in a long-term relationship for um, seven years and we had a daughter and we broke up about two years ago and I'm now a single mum. This is strange. Rook, her personal life is not to do with our business deal. No, we'll do the business. Great, okay. Susan, do you want to continue with your roles, please? Yes. Um, Okay, Ayala, you've been here for three years now, is that correct? Yes. Yeah, I was thinking, um, given your work experience and how well you've performed here, I think you'd be suitable for the role as an um, HR manager. Me? Yes. So oh, great. Right? Well, well, she's a woman. You yes. see, she's a woman. She can't be telling men what to do as a manager. I'm a manager in London. That is London. We are different here in Kuwait. We do things differently. A um, man must manage. I think Ayala is more than suitable for the job. She has a degree from Brighton and a master's from Cambridge. And given her qualifications and her work experience, I think she'd be suitable. Um, Farouk, I was looking at this and I see that you do not have any qualifications or degree. Did you go to college or...? Um I do not need degree. I learned business from my father. He was in business for 60 years. I am son of Farouk al Muqtada. I have been in business for 20 years. I do okay. not need degree. I run a successful company. Okay, right. I think we should go on a coffee break yeah. now, everyone. Yeah. Back in 10 minutes, yep. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Samantha. Welcome to the diary room. How do you think the meeting went today? Well, I think it was good. Um, there were some bad bits and some good bits. Firstly, when I said hi to everyone, our son was kind of like, uh, don't want to say hi to him. Her, I mean. <laughs> Farouk thought I was a man. and But in the end, it was quite good. Um, I felt like I was the only person that kind of praised Ayala for her position. No one else was happy for her, but I think she was great. And... I think that Farouk is changing and he will eventually, you know, get to grips with the different cultures and everything will be fine in the end. 
Do you think the meeting was a success? Um, yes and no. I think it was good that we, job roles were assigned um, and we got to meet everyone. But at the same time, I think a few people were insulted by what Farouk said. Um, I know I certainly was about a few things, but um, overall, I think, yeah, I think it was all right. On that same point, how do you feel? How did you feel when Farouk noticed you didn't have a wedding ring on? Oh, um, I was quite insulted, actually. Um, in the UK, where I'm from, we're quite private. We don't really... Well, I've, it's the first time I met him, so I was a bit shocked that he would ask me something so outright. I mean, to ask if I'm married, yeah, that's fine. But then to go on and basically say that... I think he was basically implying that it was almost disrespectful that I wasn't married when I had a child. So, but I guess where he's from, but that's not really acceptable, but yeah. Thank you. And lastly, how do you think you're going to work together as a team in the future? Um, I think we've got a lot of work to do together as a team, um, getting to know each other, getting to know what's acceptable around each other as well. Um, but I think there is real potential for us to work well as a team because we're all from different backgrounds, so I think we've all got something that we can bring to the table. What did you think about Farouk in the meeting today? Farouk does not understand that we are doing a business deal with the West so we have to abide by their rules and by the contracts and at the moment he is he is arguing a lot and at the moment I am the bridge between both uh, ways and, and cultures and, and understanding different types of business and dealing between the two. Uh, yeah, that's it really. Men are seen as dominant and powerful in the family and that reflects their role in, in an organisation. So, and also women has um, a larger, barri larger barriers um, to, to go into employment. Um, and also um, men discriminate women in our country. Um, they, they don't believe in our abilities even though if you have a higher degree like me they still don't believe that we can manage, yeah. Okay, um, congratulations by the way. How do you feel about your new, um, well-deserved new position? I was very excited to see Susan and to meet Susan and Sam because um, I really admired them because it's the first time ever that our company has the chance to work with an international company owned by a woman, so that really inspires me and made me feel, bring out my confidence as a woman in the Middle East. Yes. And I, I felt quite awkward when Susan um, assigned me the role, as I know that Miss, Mr. Fruit didn't really agree with that. He wasn't happy at all, but I'm glad that she assigned me that role and that she believed in me. What did you think of your fellow colleagues today? Well, the American, uh, I think she stands out because she she was a woman and called Sam. I think when we started emailing, she was a bit misleading in that. Uh, but uh, I suppose it turns out all right because uh, Aslan says that is what they do. So it's something I have to learn. Uh, then there was the English lady. She is not married and she has a child. Well, we, this is, we get to know each other, our business partners, through knowing their family. And she, if she's not married, she would have brought shame to her family. But again, you know, the British, uh, they have a different culture to us. They, they uh, allow, they have certain indulgences which we Kuwaitis don't have. And there's Aslan, I, I like Aslan. He is, um, how do you say, has got global savvy, very very good with people, very good with diplomacy. I, I like him, he's very valuable. And then there's Ayala. Ayala, I think I underestimated Ayala. She was, uh, she's very talented and because she's a woman and I've grown up in a culture where perhaps we don't value the opinion of women outside the home, uh, perhaps uh, I did my company a disservice. Perhaps uh, because this is a global village, um, 
I need to learn to be more open to women because they see things differently from us men and I can use her talents. Yes. Coffee. Great coffee and I got some water too. Woo. I think uh, we start on the wrong foot. I think Farouk say things not nice. That's nice of you to say, Farouk. Farouk uh, wants good relationship, we work together, we make good money. Everyone's happy. Everyone's happy? Everyone's happy. And, uh, you know, I, perhaps I undermine your authority all the time and I not value you as employee, but uh, you will do well. You will do well. Thank you, sir.